Окни, когда включишь. Вот тебе рацию сейчас надо. Boom! Here it comes. Welcome to Expat American. We are off-roading today with Pavel and Josiah. And Masha? <laughs> Хотите смотреть наши видео на русском, вы можете смотреть их в Яндекс браузере на русском языке, там есть дубляж. Не забудьте посмотреть эти видео за выключаемый VPN для другой страны, чтобы мы получили кредит на рекламу. Here it goes. Oh, because it would have been, would have been a secret. And now yeah, we can see it. This was a place which, uh, like, this is people of the United States are afraid of. And you go, afraid of. Who are afraid of? Right. right. Wow. And yeah, I, I would never would have thought that as an American I would be in Russia touring an abandoned military base. I am so From surprised to Soviet too. times. <laughs> Did you do you want to go to the, on the top? Sure. On the roof? Let's do it. Oh, great. Is that right now we are climbing up on top of the abandoned military base. Josiah has fallen, but he can get up. He actually fell for real. You can see the concrete wall coming out of the snow here so there's a little lip that's covered up by the snow where you don't want to step and fall down don't leave me behind <laughs> oh. here goes pavel can he hit the car Oh. Ники <laughs> Так, подождите, я сейчас это сниму. Это уже охота пошла. Boom! You did it, Pavel. You hit your own car. Сейчас, подожди, надо со стороны. This is what us grown men do. Итак, охотники работают, стреляют. Все в одного копанчика попали. I brought gloves for this, but they're in the car. Snow is really cold. It's like ice, I've been told. That's not a snowball. It disintegrated in midair. I think someone needs to teach you how to make snowballs, Florida boy. All right, here we go. I'm making it denser this time. You got the cars, just uh... The cars? Oh no, of course not. Right. Here's my hand. <laughs> that was wimpy. What is this? Ventilation, maybe. Ventilation on the roof. <laughs> Exit to the roof, maybe. Oh wow, there's another one over there. <laughs> For those who weren't sure, we are still at the old military base, except now we are on the roof. What's interesting, Josiah, if you pan back, you've got trees growing on the roof. So it's been abandoned so long, dirt is falling on top of it, and trees are growing on the roof of this facility. Let's see if Joe is throwing the snowball wrong or making I'm the snowball I'm an American wrong. in Russia. This is my snowball. I'm going to hit Pavel's car, because I know him better. That'll be more satisfying. It says Patriot on the back. 
and I missed it by about eight inches <laughs> off the front right tire. Say something, brother. Oh, Pavel's an athlete. There's our new friends down below. Privet Tavarish! All right, Joe got me falling as I walked up. Here's the hoping I get him falling as he goes down. Nice, Masha, nice. Good job. Pavel is breaking out the serious boots. This is telling me that the snow is about to get deeper. <laughs> I feel like Kristoff is here. Okay, Josiah, look at the camera. You ready? Sure. Ready? What? <laughs> I think I twisted a muscle doing that. You're a heavy guy. You're gonna drop me. I know it. That would be funnier. We just had a small emergency. Pavel's invention it's turned not on. My invention, it's Chinese stuff. My <laughs> While we were fine. driving, he decided to drive a little fast to impress his daughter, and now it's smashed on. He can't turn it off. I've advised him to disconnect it and throw it in the throw snow. On this. <laughs> and then we'll move on. It's on the batteries. <laughs> He's gonna perform emergency surgery here on this device. Pavel is a man of all trades, an expert in Russian transportation, written Russian language, and orthodoxy, as well as off-roading and replacing the batteries removing the batteries in defective Chinese water distribution devices. A dog just ran past me. Do you have dogs running down the street you where you're from? Home <laughs> no. Nice, you did it, our hero. Well, that's how you turn it on and off now. I dropped my scarf in the snow in my haste to help Pavel. Look at that, these are old Russian dachas. I really, really am impressed with all the woodwork around the windows, that's definitely a style I see in these older homes. Um, there's another one down there. There's a yellow one over there. I'd love to be able to take a tour of one of these old places someday, but I don't know anyone who has one yet. Josiah, are you comfortable? I am, yes. What you doing? I am reading. Once again, the same book. Ah, another another nerd moment. It's the same one. Oh, yeah, moment. And what is a dacha, Josiah? It's like a small summer house, but not necessarily just for summer. It's like a, I think a lot of Moscovites have a, an apartment in the city and a dacha out in the countryside, or they just live in a dacha and that's where they live and work. Done. This dacha here looks more like a castle. Not everything is done. That's not a dacha? We don't know, but I think not. It's probably just a regular countryside, just a regular village. So Dacha is specifically a summer home, weekend home, where you grow your vegetables. Yeah. You must grow your vegetables. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Pavel.
All right, we're gonna cross a swinging bridge in Russia over a river. Hopefully it doesn't break. All right. Ooh, the belt is this. Oh, whoever's jumping, stop. Why? <laughs> Why? Because I might crack through the ice down below. You already tried this stuff. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> so America doesn't have all the beautiful nature places. Russia has it too. <laughs> Josiah, what do you think? Uh, I think it'd be very you, bad if I fell. You feel like Indiana Jones? Absolutely not. It's a guy on a snowmobile. Wow. Great to Jazar. Yeah. Oh, that's a big face. This is a river. So we're at a tiny cliff's edge. Should I jump? You, you'd get better views if I jumped. Mm -hmm. ah, fake jumps. Go to the edge, Josiah. <laughs> Super Giroi! Yes! Ruski Diadia! Moi Tavarish! Is that me or you? I think that was me. <laughs> Do you get the forest there? That's pretty cool. <laughs> this is a snowball in America, and in Russia, it's also a snowball. Snizok? Kurta. Oh, spicy. Not even close. Pavel has found Olaf. Olaf? Здравствуй, Олаф. Горбатый какой-то. Черепашка ниндзя, Олаф. Получил по лицу ветки. We are on the edge of the river. After the World War II, then all the power plants, all the like electric, electric, units were destroyed by the Nazis. Uh, the Stalin started the program from for building uh, local local power sources like small hydroelectric stations everywhere from the wow. all the country. Uh, and it 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 means to build by the collective workers itself. Oh wow. What do you think about hydroelectric stations? So that's an old hydroelectric station? Yeah. Very interesting. I'd love to climb up in it. What I'm also thinking is I don't want to fall in the water and die. It's <laughs> very cold. So the river is not completely frozen. You can see the water rushing right there. And Pavel says it's an old hydroelectric station. Yeah, you can see the difference in the water levels. Here and there, there were a dam earlier built from wood, so it's not here anymore. And this is something Stalin commissioned. Mm -hmm. wow. That ice or water? That's water. You recording? I am. That's Ooh. ice. Yep. <laughs> Breaking. I don't want to be the YouTuber that 
that dies doing something foolish. That's as far as I'll go. Josiah is younger and feeling braver than I. He's trying to venture a little further out. And they're gonna run me over from behind. Pavel, look at Josiah the cameraman. He's standing on the ice. Pretty incredible. Whoa! Masha's a hooligan. A frozen river in the middle of nowhere with Masha throwing snowballs at him. Is it starting to crack? Yeah. Right, Give it a little back. jump. Huh? No, Give it a little jump. Hey, yes, Lisa. Opa. And he's back on, I can't say dry land, but it's hard firm land. He survived. Do not try this at home. It looks cool now, but the, the look that it has in summer is also really cool. Like the flowing water and the, the green on the trees and everything. I can imagine. No, you can't. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe it's just a trench. I thought Russia had everything, but it didn't. For example, in Russia, Europe, and the USA, there's a unique product called Synthesit. But Russia doesn't have a powerful modification of the product Synthesit Fucoidin. It's a terrific product to restore energy and health. It normalizes blood flow. The red blood cells stop forming clots and blood starts to flow normally into all organs and tissues, heart and brain. Fucoidin Synthesit has only two natural, safe, and highly effective components. The innovative mineral Synthesit and the cleanest and best in the world fucoidin from the Australian firm Marinella. Fucoidin synthesis can protect you from heart attacks, strokes, and any other diseases that develop due to thick blood. Fucoidin synthesis allows you to recover quickly from the disease, even if doctors can't help you. This is the best product in the world. Follow the links in the description and order synthesis fucoidin with delivery to Europe or the USA. This product is not available in Russia. So what's going on? What does it mean he's completely stuck? I'm gonna use electric winch to get him out. Oh. Back on. Any thoughts, Josiah? It's getting colder. We were trying to cross the river and the lead car has gotten stuck and Pavel is getting the winch out of his car to drag this guy out of the river and uh, let's see. Looks like, okay, yeah, Josiah is still safe and sound on the other side of the river, um, staring at all of us. Looks like the winch is working.
Все, 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 парк. Все, парк. Hobble, the hero of the day, just unstuck this guy's car. So I think they turned the car on its side so it will drain. Pavel has decided to tempt fate and float on a chunk of ice. So long! I'm sailing away! What was the title of that video we did together? Our Russian something? What? Was it Led Zeppelin or something like that? No, Maybe your daughter is light enough to jump across the ice chunks to the other side. Let's, let's test it out on her first. If she can do it, we'll send Josiah next. How does it feel, Pavel? Sturdy? Nice, nice. Oh, dude. Quite deep. <laughs> Not so You're scaring nice me. <laughs> yeah, I wondered if the ice chunks were out of the way, if he could have made it. We have been detoured um, because the car got stuck. Luckily, we got it out. The sun's going down. I don't know if we're going to see Yuri Gagarin's final resting place. I think they're talking about whether or not we're going back or if we're going to try to cross the river again. And um, the longer we stay here, the further and further Pavel gets into the river, talking about the ice or something. But uh, no one's hurt. The car seems to be okay. So. So far, so good. It's still an exciting adventure in this forest in Russia, in the middle of nowhere. Well, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not sure what they're saying because I don't speak Russian well enough yet, but it looks like they're thinking they can shove the ice out of the way. What's next, Pavel? It's your guess? <laughs> My guess is you're gonna shove the ice out of the way and try to cross. I'm gonna take the rope. And he will try another one, another attempt. I see, so you're gonna winch him across. Like yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're the Russian Superman. So they're bringing the winch back out. Does it help to get the ice out of the way? Yeah. And you're not cold. Those boots are insulated. Super cool. cold. Super not cold. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, if he was successful, that may have been my face. Pavel's getting ready to winch the car over to the other side. Wow. 
amazing. I cannot believe that they got that car across the river. So now I'm concerned about the other two because we are now separated until we can successfully get two more cars across. How did that work? Oh, I just went around. So lot ice. Wow. I dropped my phone in the snow and couldn't find it for a few minutes. I did. That would have been two YouTube episodes lost. And while I was searching for it, Pavel got his vehicle across the river. So two across and one more left to go. The smaller one. So it might be more of a challenge. Is that you over there, Pavel? No. You got your car? You got your car across the river? No, I didn't got the car either. I think that's your car wow. on the other side. Thanks, man. <laughs> Pavel, where's my cameraman? He's dead. His battery dead. <laughs> and he's going to sleep, I think. You mean he's hiding in the car from the cold? Yeah. But I turned off the heater. So he might get cold inside the car also. <laughs> the sun is setting fast here as I wait. We all wait for the third car to come across. And um, Pavel says that I do not need to be concerned about wild animals like I might in Florida like alligators and sharks and whatnot. He thinks that bears and wolverines are not a problem. They're figuring out how to get the cable across the water so that this car can pull that car across the river. Pavel has the high boots on. Film it. We have done it. Not so hard after all. So we made it across the river. The sun has set. We are tired. My phone is about to die. So I just wanted to say click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification, click the box to see what happens next. Share this with your friends before it ends. Thank you, Pavel, for this amazing adventure. You're welcome. And Josiah for staying relatively warm in the back there and holding the camera from time to time. You're just jealous. Anything else needs to be said? Masha. Masha? Masha good job, you. good job. Thank you, Masha. You did a great job. You provided the fun. For all the fans of Kristoff, you made up for it. <laughs> Your flashlight helps. I, I didn't turn it on. It just came on. It's automatic. Oh, yeah? Подписчики, мы очень хотим, чтобы Запад узнал правду у России. Похоже, алгоритм YouTube решил, что ему не нравится то, что мы говорим. Да вы можете помочь решить эту проблему, нажимая кнопку поделиться для этих видео как можно чаще, чтобы исправить ситуацию.